Hi, my name is Matt Sims. I'm from Occupational Matters and I'm the Occupational Hygienist. This short video is to illustrate how to use a dust trap. Dust traps are good for measuring indoor air quality and dust levels in indoor air quality. Also, it's good for if you have um, dust in the outside environment, you can use it for an environmental um, aspect as well. So this is the dust track. Um, it will show you at the moment it's in the survey mode. It will show you um, it has a start button, which I'll start for you. So it's warming up at the moment. Uh, at the moment, the first reading here is the instantaneous result. At the moment, it's only in a survey mode, so it won't log the actual information. But it will give you the minimum and the maximum and the average as it's uh, intaking and sampling from the actual environmental air. In with the dust track, you can actually look at the graph as it's taking the samples and it's actually uh, logging the points of concentration. The concentration is in milligrams per meter cubed. With PM10, which is um, 10 micrometers uh, in diameter, the dust particle, uh, the actual guideline, indoor air quality guideline, is uh, 0 0.05 milligrams per meter cubed. So in a 24 hour, if there is three exceedances over 0.5, then uh, it needs to be uh, looked at and um, the actual air conditioning unit may be looked at uh, to rectify that problem. We can go back to the actual main menu. Just stop because it's quite noisy. Um, with the run modes, you've got different run modes. At the moment, as I said, it's in survey mode, which means uh, it's taking a sample every 10 seconds and it's not actually um, logging and saving the data. If you actually want to use the equipment to uh, save the data over, say, a 24-hour period, um, you can actually go into manual mode and as you can see, it can, you have different options. At the moment it's got, you can take a sample every 30 minutes and it will take one point every 30 minutes. Uh, or you can have a 10 minute uh, period of sampling and it will give you one point for that period. So how do we, how do we actually uh, download the data? For this we have to go into the actual program, which is our best track program, which is called Track Pro. Um, at the moment we have um, we actually have 17 uh, samples that are already in the dust track and we want to download these into the Track Pro. We come over to the file and we want to receive the data. So it's communicating with the instrument. So it's actually has the data now and we want to select all and then we want to receive. Now say so it's transferring the data from the actual dust track into the Track Pro program. So this is how we uh, transfer and print out the data. You can do it one of two ways. You can do it singly. So we've got 18 data files. We can go view test data, view data to statistics report. And this will give you the minimum and maximum plus your concentration. It'll give you stop, start time. Um, so if we go to print that out, go into the 
print icon and then we just print. If we want to do multiple in the one, just close, get rid of that. If we want to do multiple data points in the one report, we can do that as well. So to do a, a multiple test report, we go into multiple test report selection. So please hold down shift and highlight all the files that we want to transfer across. We then drag once we highlight it and then we can print it. In this case, uh, so we've got all the files and then we can print it. It's got all the data, it's got the average, it's got the units, it's got the maximum minimum, time and date. So yeah, so that's how we use and operate the dust rack. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you can log on to Occupational Matters at www.occmatters.com.au. Thanks for watching. Bye.